What's up, man? 25 fans, welcome to today's video, guys. Today we're talking about how to beat the Blitz from the Atlanta Falcons playbook, and I think I accidentally pumped the wrong button here. Uh, but what I want to show you today is the is the really unique opportunity to get a nice little Blitz beater going uh, from your base play, and um, so we'll show, we'll talk about that after we get this play and run it and get down here. Uh, anyway, so to beat the blitz, we talk about it all the time. You need a flat route, okay? To beat the zone blitz, to beat the man blitz, you take, you know, you need like a mesh route or whatever. We talked about the bunch weak. We talked about how we like to flip it. We talked about the empty falcon. We talked about the trio falcon. Today we're talking all about the shotgun doubles on. And the shotgun doubles on, we like to flip the doubles on. Now what's unique about this, and this is what I'm gonna keep harping on, is the ATL playbook has really good quick audibles. Okay, so the FL screen is what we're going to be using, and you'll see it's actually going to be a quick audible, uh, easy and really easy to get to. So, you know, when they start coming out in their dot, you know, in their pressure packages, trying to set up, you know, generic zone blitzes. For today's video, we'll just show you some basic ones. You can do a couple of things here. Now, uh, what I like to do personally is I like to take Eric Decker and I like to put him on a fade route I then like to take no Sean Marino and I like to put him on a flat pattern and then from there I typically will take Demarius Thomas put him on a slant take Wes Welker I'll put him on an in route and then I'll motion uh, I'll motion Demarius Thomas to the to the left and snap once he gets right about to where Wes Welker stands and now you see the first read is very simple. It's a screen pass. It's a snap throw, and uh, it's pretty effective. It's been effective for the last two seasons, uh, and it's very uh, unique, in my opinion. Um, the next read here is the user catch option to Eric Decker. Typically against zone, you could pass lead up and to the inside. Wow, Errol Thomas just lurked it there. But um, typically against zone, you can pass lead that up into the inside and it's typically pretty effective uh, especially with this flat pattern um, so there you see it there's the click on and you know obviously sometimes you'll get some big plays against it like with, we saw earlier with the Eric Earl Thomas uh, lurk but it's not a thousand percent and then um, the next read here is this underneath drag to Welker I like to try to pass lead it down to get him some blockers sometimes he'll get that uh, stupid little falling animation but uh, the idea is, you know, get him out in space. Obviously, you know, we got three guys over there to block. Uh, none of them did at that time. But you see the idea that we're trying to get at here. And then the final read of the play is just a slant around. Obviously, it's going to be hard for me to hit it because it's a screen pass. Uh, you know, and tip, you know, but, you know, a situation like this. So say, say they catch you, okay? So say they go through and they're like, okay, I'm going to catch him. I'm going to show blitz. But I'm not actually going to send it. Okay, so something like this. Okay, that's where this that's where this Thomas route comes into play. So you motion over, and you just kind of be patient, be patient, be patient, be patient, be patient, um, and then you can maybe hit over top or whatever. But the idea is, you know, you have that flood. Okay, so now we'll take a look at the man blitz, and then uh, we'll let you get out of here for today. But uh, man blitz is the same basic concepts. Um, you see the first thing is that quick screen and uh, typically typically that will be all you need to do um, obviously if you think that you can hit something else obviously you know there's no reason why you couldn't be able to do that um, the second read is still this user catch typically gets off coverage it's pretty money uh, for the most part two man under does stop it uh, but again if they press coverage then they're probably not going to be in a blitz, obviously. Uh, but if they are pressing, then we have the two routes on the right to beat the two men under. Okay, so here you see the route to Welker. Uh, it does a pretty nice job at beating, um, you know, man blitzing uh, defenses. Uh, we'll show you here this fade against press, or we'll show you here what we would do against like press man. Uh, and this is where the Thomas route really comes into play because if they use her the uh, backside, you see that the Thomas route's wide open if they press man. So. Uh, you know, obviously, you know, if they just run two men under, kind of fake us out a little bit, you know, we still have our reads, we still have uh, progressions and things like that to be able to beat that formation. But what I want to harp on here is this little quick pass is very effective and uh, gets great blocking. And the cool part about this 
is it's a quick audible. As you see here, it's a quick audible. It's the quick pass audible. And then uh, also the quick run audible is a 45 quick base, which is a really good run. And what you can do off of this is you could take the tide or the wide receiver Thomas, motion him over. They think he's on a slant route. Next thing they know, he's in the A gap blocking for you. Uh, you know, so many nuances, so many things you can do. Uh, that's why I kind of really like the Atlanta playbook right now for my competitive uh, for my competitive game, and you see that uh, it just does a really nice job of getting some easy blocking. But we'll be going over uh, some more on that later. But obviously, you can stick to your three-headed rushing tag. This is just another nuance uh, that you could throw into your blitz beating formation. So, thanks for watching today, guys. Hopefully, this video was beneficial, and I hope that you're getting a lot out of this playbook. I thank for all you guys that play a lot of Madden Ultimate Team. Uh, this is a great playbook for you to pick up and learn because of how good the quick audibles really are. Thanks, guys.